Star Wars. Welcome to Carolina. You kind of have a different, uh, I'm assuming you had kind of a different campus or non-campus experience at Utah where you were what, about half an hour away living with your family, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, we didn't, I didn't stay on campus at all um, other than being in the locker rooms, being in a on the football facility and being in class. So um, the drive, yeah, it, it wasn't too bad until you got to the point where you're doing it every day, every week. So, I mean, it was it was good. It was um, definitely a sacrifice that needed to be made, and that's what we did. You think uh, where you are in your life, I mean, it, it prepares you better for the NFL, you know, having already established, uh, you know, established family. I mean, you seem pretty mature coming into the league. Yeah, I think it, uh, having a family of my own, wife and kids, uh, it helps out in that area of being a little bit more mature than some other guys may be. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm still on the same level as everybody else when it comes to football. Um, just got to come in. Uh, I'm ready to go. I'm excited. I'm ready to learn. Uh, so. so how, would, how would you describe your personality? Uh, I'm a real quiet person. Personality, uh, I don't. Um, even though at the University of Utah I was a team captain my junior senior year I wasn't the rah rah captain that's gonna you know yell at yell at everybody and kind of try to get them hyped like that I try to lead by example personality wise uh, uh, just real laid back um, outside uh, outside of football just real laid back and um, easy to get to know and just a real easy going guy asked you this last night on the phone, but when you first heard in, Con- in India about your heart, what was your first reaction? Were you confused, scared, or what? what, what? Um, it was just a big surprise. I was just really surprised because I've never had any problems with it um, playing Division One football, playing high school. Uh, so it was just a real big surprise. How important was it? I know at, at Snow, I think it was, you came in a little over 350, and you, and you summed down to your, to your weight now around 311. How important was it? How difficult was it to, to shed those pounds, and how important was it for your game? Uh, it was real important. I came in uh, with that 350. It was a real bad weight. I, I registered that year at Snow College, and uh, you know, d- didn't really um, focus too much on working out and just to try to finish school, but uh, definitely losing the weight and trying to get, and get into better sh- better shape, uh, it made the biggest difference. It was, it was real hard um, getting down from 350 to about um, sophomore year. I played about 310, so I lost about 40 pounds coming in, So, but it definitely helped. What are you now, and what would you like to play at? Uh, right now, I'm not really sure what I'm weighing. I'm probably around 306, 307. Um, and I'll play wherever uh, the team needs me to be at. I can play heavy. I can play light. So last night you mentioned to, that you know you know that you need to get better at the pass rush. What specifically, technique wise, what do you need to do to, to get better at the pass rush? Uh, just finding a better variety of moves. I, I know I have the explosiveness. I know I I can get upfield, but just getting those moves that I know um, I'm excited to to learn from. Uh, that's why I'm so excited to get going. I uh, try to, to improve on on my skills and definitely becoming a better football player. So just getting a, a, a bigger, a greater variety of, of uh, pass rush moves, I think, would, would help me. Try Tremendously. Things that was kind of said about you by draft experts and, and scouts and whatnot was that you know they thought that you took a few plays off. You played in about 92 percent of the Utah's defensive snaps last year. Did you think that you took plays off? No, I don't think I took. I don't think I did, took um, plays off at all. Uh, like you said, I played 92 percent. I. I'd have a, maybe some games where I play up to 80, 80 snaps in a game. Um, I, I give everything that I have every play. And um, sometimes it may come off as taking a playoff, but um, I don't feel that way. Um, but it's definitely something that you know I think I can improve on. Is just to um, c- to continually get that motor going, and uh, I think it's something that if I do fix it, will help me a, lo- a lot at this level. Coach Whittingham cited your upbringing as part of the re- the reason uh, that for your kind of quiet demeanor and your your groundedness. What what? Did your par- do your parents do? Do they still work? And kind of what did they instill in you? Uh, growing up, my uh, my my dad he uh, he was real big on education. Uh, he just graduated with his doctorate degree from uh, Brigham Young, so he was real big on education um, with me and all my siblings. And um, 
you know, we started starting from really not having anything and just, you know, coming from coming from nothing and moving here to America from the islands. Uh, that's definitely something that they've reminded us, reminded us kids of daily. Just remember where we come from and to always stay humble no matter where we go. So. How 